So, Eamon, it's good to talk to you and uh, delighted to be speaking to you just days after you took victory in the Junior World Rally Championship in Croatia. So, so first of all, many congratulations to you and Connor. A tremendous result. Yeah, thanks very much, Oshin, and thanks for having me. Um, yeah, a, a tremendous result. It's uh, to get a win in the World Championship is is something that I probably could never have dreamed of, and yeah, it's just took a while to sunk in, but uh, yeah, just pure class. You know, there's they're so they don't they don't come easy. Um, I know I've only done two rounds, but they uh, you just know by the nature of them that there's so much effort and so much. Uh, that has to go right for you to to get um, to get a win and look it was uh, yeah it was just an amazing feeling to get it and have that uh, have that on the CV as such it's um, like I said stuff of dreams but we've put in a massive effort into everything this year and just done everything that we can do to to get results and and you know, to have it pay off and you have to have a bit of luck on your side too which we did but you know everyone gets good and bad days in that sense and. It was a good day for us, so yeah. And like I said, that's probably what I meant too when I said there was someone looking down on us that day as well. Um, we got our our bit of luck, but it, it paid off, and yeah, it's uh, it's just been just been amazing. Yeah, it was an emotional weekend. We've seen the way the WRC paid tribute to to Craig Breen, and obviously as an Irishman, you knew Craig, and uh, it was a difficult week for for motorsport. But it it just shows the way the the pendulum sort of swings, doesn't it, Eamon? That there's sadness and emotion, and then then joy at the uh, at the end of the week. So it was, we would see it as an important one for Irish motorsport too, with everything that went on. Yeah, yeah. And look, it was such a an emotional week. Um, you know, when we got the news, it was, um, you know, yourself, it's just one of them things. Very hard to digest and very hard to make it seem real. Um, um, we weren't even sure if the Irish competitors would go and do the event. So, um, you know, when we were over there, you know, fair play to the WRC, they made a massive effort to make tribute and, and even high on the motorsport as well. And they did a, a lovely ceremony on the Thursday and, um, uh, you know that was and that was uh, very emotional as well, and for everybody, not just the Irish. You know, you can tell the whole motorsport community across the world felt the same, the same pain. But um, yeah, while we we're over there too, it was lovely to have all of the Irish there as well, both competitors and uh, fans watching from the side. You know, it was you really felt the uh, the sense of community, and um, you know, it really it really helped the drivers. I think get get through the whole thing as well but uh yeah uh, like i said it was to an extent written in the stars to have at least someone from ireland um win and you know it was just just a small bit of positivity after obviously a massively tragic event um and yeah i'm just happy that it, it swung that way in the end yeah and i suppose in the sport of rallying as well it shows in these long WRC events that you have to hang in there, that you have to be on your game the full weekend. There's no there's no opportunity for, for laps and so there's not, Damon, because you don't know when that opportunity to hit the front is, go- is going to appear. And that was very much the case for you late in the Sunday, so it was. Yeah, definitely. That's such a long weekend, like the whole way from... It's a long week in general from Tuesday right up until Sunday. Like when you start recce, you're... You're probably running off about four to five hours sleep a night if you're if you're lucky, and um, you know by the time you start the rally, you're already you're already pretty pretty fatigued, um, and that's obviously where your your fitness comes in. But yeah, come the come the Sunday, you can imagine how drained you are. So you have to be you know maximum concentration, and mistakes can happen so so easily. They're the nature of the stages out in Croatia are just so so tricky. Like you had everything from you know maybe four to five different types of tarmac you'd concrete you'd kind of gravel and muck that was bedded in despite the fact it was 20 degrees um so tire choice was another thing because you'd bone dry stages and then you'd stages that were half wet and mucky so it was crazy um so it was so so easy to make a mistake uh we knew coming into the event that it was going to be like that so we just made a plan and said look if we drive maturely and if we try to keep a good steady pace don't get left behind but don't overcook things you know you just never know where we'll be come Sunday and um, yeah look we stuck to it and there was plenty of 
opportunities throughout the weekend that presented themselves, you know, for like with people having drama ahead of us, it would have meant that, oh, you know, if we push now, we might be able to make a few places, but we always stuck to the plan and we never got ahead of ourselves. And look, it obviously really, really paid off in the end and just shows that, yeah, if you, if you have a plan, you stick to it, it, it might, it might just work out. Yeah. Well, you must be having an absolute ball in this year uh, where you're rallying at the moment because you've now taken your first junior WRC victory and all of a sudden you're going to hop into a car, a, a Hyundai R2 car, which has come via uh, what you won last year. It's going to be in WRC Portugal. So it's a bit like Christmas all over again for you. So it is, I mean, these, these weekends are coming thick and fast. So they are, and there's huge opportunities here. Yeah, yeah. And Portugal, it's not even, it's actually, that was... So the prize that we won last year was with um from the BRC and that's actually Finland in August. But uh, I was very, very lucky and fortunate to be given the opportunity from the Motorsport Island Rally Academy to do uh, WRC Portugal um in their Hyundai, which was news that I only received recently. Um but yeah, what a what an opportunity. I mean, to go out to a WRC rally and compete, let alone in a top top car. It's uh, it's absolutely surreal, and I can't thank them enough for for the opportunity they've given me, and they've been giving these opportunities to other drivers as well. And I'd say we're probably the only country in the world that gives young drivers these opportunities. Um, it, it really is phenomenal what uh, what they're doing because anytime I've been out at the world events so far, other competitors have asked me, you know what what is the that academy all about and when you say to them they say well, look i really wish our country because it just doesn't it doesn't exist on the same level that we have it and yeah um i'm just very fortunate to be part of it and to get the opportunity to now go to portugal learn the event learn a, a, a rally two car it's just mental and um you know especially if i'm obviously committing to a two-year plan in the juniors and portugal is often in the junior calendar and it could be next year. So if I can go next year and potentially have the event done, it's uh, it's a massive advantage. So yeah, it's just hats off to the, the academy and everything they're doing. It's it's unbelievable. You name dropped yeah. Finland there, so you did at the start. That's it's coming up later in the year. Um, That's the big one in, in WRC terms. What would you compete in Finland then? Yeah, so in the British Rally Championship last year, we won the, um, the juniors and the prize was a... A WRC two event in uh, in a Hyundai. So yeah, I chose Finland because it's yeah, it's an iconic event and one that I was eager to go and go and do, and it fitted into the calendar nicely. So yeah, that'll be in the same Hyundai Rally two right. run by PCRS. But uh, yeah, that's uh, again surreal, but um, that'll be a mega a mega experience and to race on such an iconic event uh, at this age is mental. So yeah, really looking forward to that as well. And how many more rounds of the junior are you going to do? Because you've already been in the snow, isn't that right, in Sweden? And mm-hmm. you, you won in Croatia. So what's, what other junior events are you going to partake in this year? Yeah, so we've three more rounds of the junior championship. Um, two weeks after Portugal, we'll head to Sardinia in Italy. And uh, that'll be quite tough because you'll be dealing with high heat in the summer and the, some of the stages out there, they reach up to 50 kilometres long. So it's just going to be pure endurance and pure a pure challenge. Then we head to Estonia um, in, the, in kind of middle of July. I mean, that's meant to be, again, really tough, really, really fast. And then the end, the last round of the championship is in Greece in September. And again, another fairly um, endurance style event. But again, it's all going to be just savage learning and just, yeah, grateful to be there and grateful to have the opportunity to do them. Yeah, Hugely exciting for you. Listen, it's going to be a brilliant year. In any way, are you going to be able to fit the Donegal International Rally in, Eamon? <laughs> I've been trying so, so hard because it's, uh, yeah, it's one of them ones. It's it still probably means the most to me. Um, it's just, it's uh, it's unreal to be sitting at the start line here, home rally. Um, and we experienced that last year and a bit, a bit of bad luck, but we'd love to have come back this year. Um, one thing I have found <clears throat> with the World Rallies is that you know. Ha- for the guys who've done the stages before, they have such a big advantage because the stages, they don't change that much every year in all the world rallies. So, you know, there's events on around a similar time to Donegal that could potentially be in the calendar next year. And 
we have to try and take that into consideration as it's just a two-year plan and you know we want to try and exert absolutely everything out of it and leave nothing behind so we'll see but um yeah for now it looks like it's going to swing that way but i have <laughs> i've tried everything to make done all possible and look who knows still but um yeah it's uh it might have to wait a year yeah. but um i'm looking forward to it nonetheless whenever it is yeah, just finally we haven't mentioned him the entire interview is connor your co-driver uh a yeah. really really steady guy beside you Ah, uh, yeah look here <laughs> to be honest i'd say his job is is harder than mine kills me to say it but it's true so um the work and when you get taken up to this level the work that he has to put in this is mental like there's just so so many things he has to make sure go right from his side that uh that are just vital and um you know as he'd say as he'd say call in the face notes is genuinely it's the easiest part like there's just so many things to organize and think about um and you know his work never it never stops him but he took it all in a stride and he hit everything so so to the t and I never had to question anything. I just it was it was done for me. So yeah, it's hats off to him for a man who stepped into this uh, World Rally Championship for the first time with no experience beforehand. He's really taken it all in his stride. So yeah, it's a credit to him. Well, listen, things are going good for for you guys at the minute, and we wish you uh, continued success. And I'm sure we'll be uh, speaking again real soon. Eamon Kelly, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Ashin.